pop culture is full of loose terms. Many people throw out organized religion without much thought. But what exactly is organized religion? Perhaps it means that a governing body of sorts, a group of leaders and rulers, unilaterally determine what is and isn't right for a group of people. Or maybe your understanding of the term is related to previous experiences of denominational culture, the different ways things are done by Methodists, Presbyterians, Catholics, Evangelicals, Baptists, every single denomination. But let's dig a little deeper into the term organized religion itself. Trouble is, church by its very nature has to be organized. Religion is the real issue here. In fact, Jesus spent most of his time rebuking the Pharisees on this topic more so than anything else. The Pharisees were the organized religion of that time, and they had made it all about the rules, the do's, and the don'ts at the expense of a realistic understanding of the love of God. But the church of today still has its share of Pharisees. It's sad, but it's true. Just like in government, you will always have somebody in every church that is too conservative or too rigid and just resistant to change. You've probably even worked with people who have a my way or the highway mindset. And of course, you're always on the wrong side because you don't measure up to their definition of what you're supposed to do, say, or be. Organized religion is not really what it's about. Discovering God and meeting him in the person of Jesus is what it's all about. Sometimes this means rising above a few Pharisees you meet along the way. So what would a disorganized religion look like? Anything goes. Hey bro, if it feels right, it must be okay. Any way you choose is okay, as long as it makes you feel good. While these paradigms can seem freeing and easy to embrace at first, you probably have discovered that they deliver a pretty empty, unfocused life. You quickly find out why these attitudes are not what God really desires of us. Churches are places where people and their issues gather. God purposely designed people to find him through an organized, imperfect group called the church. Otherwise, we can't authentically share the truth of God, experience his love, connect with others who feel the same, and implement his way of living in an imperfect world. Yes, organized religion is a faulty term, but organized churches are essential to finding your way to God again.